Petra here. Um, today I would like to show you some practices you can use to uh, ease your anxiety. So anxiety can be part of Parkinson's and uh, right now it's fall, which is uh, in Ayurveda a season that can bring on more anxiety because there's more uh, air and uh, space element. Um, so um, this is gonna be just uh, a couple practices uh, seated. And then I'll show you also one lying down you could do in the bed or on the floor if you can come down. All right, so um, we're gonna find a nice uh, comfortable seat, sitting comfortable but not collapsed, right? So when we're practicing yoga, we want the spine to be uh, naturally erect. And then we're gonna uh, work with mudras. Mudras are hand gestures we use in yoga to help direct energy and to uh, help um, create this energetic uh, effect in the body. Uh, so there's, um, I'm gonna show you some uh, calming and grounding mudras you could use. And you can try them and see for yourself if you can feel anything in your body. So one of the uh, calming and grounding mudras is Adi Mudra, where you're hiding your thumb into your fist. So thumb in, and then you're gonna gently close the thumb in, and then you're resting your hands on your thighs. And so that's, that's one possible mudra. Uh, if that doesn't work for you, you can try a different one. Um, another that would be good to calm and ground yourself is uh, what we call it, Dvimukha Mudra. So you're gonna be putting the pinky and the ring finger together, gently, and then the rest of the hands or fingers are open and then you're resting those uh, hands in your lap. So shoulders relaxed. And again, pinky and ring finger are connected. And so both these mudras bring the breath down into the belly, which is uh, the way to um, trigger the parasympathetic uh, nervous system response. So the rest and digest. So bringing the breath down into the belly versus breathing up here in the chest. Uh, so again, we have Adi Mudra, Divi Mukha Mudra. Or one other mudra you could try is um, Pranidana Mudra, where you're gonna put um, the thumb and a metal finger and ring finger together and then extend the pinky and index finger like this. And then you're resting your hands on your thighs again. Okay, so pick one of those that works for you. Sometimes if you have tremor, uh, some of the mudras can be a little more difficult. So again, Adi Mudra, hiding the thumb. Divi Mukha Mudra, just uh, connecting the pinky and ring finger and then resting. Or uh, Pranidana Mudra, um, thumb, ring finger and middle finger together and pinky and index finger extended. Okay. And then uh, we're gonna try to close our eyes. And then see if you can feel your breath in your body. Where do you feel the movement? Just forgetting about everything else, only focusing on your breath. And see if you can feel that breath um, descending down into your belly. So inhaling and the belly rises up on the inhale. And exhaling, the belly falls. It's still a gentle movement. You're not pushing anything out forcefully. But the belly is really soft and open to expand on the inhale and then flatten a bit more on the exhale. And as the breath descends down, you're slowly letting go of tension and worry coming into your inner sanctuary, 
connecting with your true self that's not affected by anything that's happening in your in your life or you know with your disease it's just the core of you Relaxing the face, the eyes and the eye sockets. Reminding yourself of your wholeness, no matter what you, what you did in, uh, right now or yesterday, no matter what happened last week, you are whole and perfect just as you are. Continue with a nice, long, smooth, gentle breath. Think about nourishing your cells with the breath, with the oxygen. Feel your feet grounding into the floor and your sit bones into the chair. All the support. Slowing down, practicing being. No need to do anything right now, except for being here with your breath, with your true self. Connecting deeply with yourself. And then see if you can maybe slightly elongate your exhale. So maybe inhaling for the count of four and exhaling for six or eight. Or you could do inhaling for three, exhaling for six. Notice the little pause after the exhale, just before you inhale. See if you can find some peace in it. And just as we let go of the breath, on the every exhale, without clinging to it, let's release Anything that's not serving us well. Maybe it could be some beliefs you have about yourself. Or perhaps you're clinging to the you that was in the past but no longer is. And that brings you suffering. Just let go. Nice deep exhale. Slow and long. Great, and then taking the breath in again, releasing the mudra, and slowly opening your eyes. All right, so that was just a little guided meditation you can use to um, round yourself, remind yourself of your wholeness. Um, you know, for those moments when you're overwhelmed by anxiety, by, by the difficulties of your uh, condition. Um, so that's always there for you. You have that inner uh, sanctuary where you can always uh, land and uh, find some refuge in. So now I'm gonna show you Another setup you could use uh, for similar practice. Um, I'm gonna be lying down. Um, I have a, a bolster here, but you could use uh, stack blankets or even yoga blocks under your um, 
under your thighs. And that's just to, um, it's just to allow your low back to relax uh, a little bit better. So I'm gonna put my blanket under my head so my chin is even or a level with the floor. And my low back and pelvis are relaxed. And then I'm gonna use this blanket. And again, it could be a yoga blog, it could be even a, a book. <laughs> or a sandbag if you have one at home that's not too heavy. But you could start with just a, a folded blanket, just something that's gonna give you a feedback uh, where your belly is in space. Um, so it's actually, I really love using a sandbag that's a little bit, a little bit heavier, right, than the blanket because it gives you a nice feedback. But not everyone has a sandbag at home. <laughs> so, um, Again, we're going to try to direct the breath into the belly. Um, so the belly rises on the inhale and then falls on the exhale. You could uh, use one of the mudras we, we just held. Um, it could be the uh, uh, Pralijana mudra uh, or Adi mudra, so hiding the thumb and just uh, letting the, the hands be uh, next to you. Or if none of these work, uh, just uh, keep the hands, maybe your palms down. And then see if you can focus on that belly breath. Soft belly. Inhale, the belly rises. Uh, exhale, the belly falls. It's usually a little bit easier to do the belly breathing here than seated. And really feel the support of the floor for your uh, body, for the heaviness of your body, so you can lighten up and bring in that fresh oxygen to nourish your cells. But also place the hands on your belly. And then you know, just take at least five, 10 minutes to, to rest. Your body needs rest and the grounding as much as exercise. So for the purposes of this video, I'm not gonna do as long, but uh, feel free to, um, to stop the video and stay in, in this position. All right, so hopefully one of these practices can be uh, useful for you and nourishing. So your uh, body and mind and spirit can feel better. Um, and I uh, hope to see you in one of my classes, either on Mondays at 10 a.m. at the Grace Presbyterian Church or for the yoga class on Wednesdays at 1.30 to 2.45, um, same place, the Grace Presbyterian Church in Walnut Creek. All right, uh, thank you for your attention and have a great day.